you brought it home from the beach, so that large seashell, it carries a little memory with it too. Now you can keep it forever as a dresser accessory. And I'm telling you, Anthropology is gonna be so jealous. We're making decoupaged and gilded oyster shells at our Studio 5 craft table today. They make gorgeous little trinket dishes, a great girlfriend gift too. Craft expert Beth Kingston joins me through Zoom from her home at the Water's Edge in Maryland. We're a little jealous, Beth, but instant friends. Welcome to Studio 5. <laughs> so happy to see you guys this is my first time and i want to say hi to all my utah friends i'm super Yay. super 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 excited to be with you hi well i will up here super we are super 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 excited <laughs> to have you on <laughs> studio five tell me about our project today so today, and I'm just gonna zoom right in and show you all the supplies and everything we need to know because today we're making beautiful decoupaged and gilded shells. Whether you're using clam shells, I'm using oyster shells because we're big oyster fans here in Maryland. This is so easy. It's such a great project to do with your girlfriends and it just takes a few supplies. So obviously we need our shells. You just need a little bit of Mod Podge, matter gloss, your choice, some white paint, some gold paint, and a detail brush and a sponge brush. So, okay, I'm sorry. Here's I'm how, sorry. How would... You made these or you bought these at your local anthropology? I really can't tell. Oh, girl, I'm, I'm right. Oh. I made these for like, I don't know, 99 cents when they normally cost 35 to $40 on anthropology. We're just gonna, we're gonna put anthropology out of business. I'm sorry. Amazing, sorry, sorry. amazing. All right, so you get your shells locally. That's where our jealous streak comes in. We do. We get our shells locally, but uh, I did not know this. You can buy clam shells and oyster shells on Amazon because that's where I got Hello. these. Who knew? I did not know. One business know. not going out of out of business these days is the uh, Amazon, right? right? All right, walk that, us through. Show us how to truth. do it, Miss Beth. Sure. So the very first thing you're going to do, if you notice the oyster shells, there's this sort of dark spot on them. You're just going to take a little bit of white paint. It does not have to look pretty. You just want to make it a little bit uh, lighter so that when you put the paper napkin on, it makes it makes it easier and blends right in. Then comes the fun. Um, I'm going to have my husband pan over just a small assortment of my paper napkin collection. <laughs> so um, it doesn't matter your theme. It doesn't matter what colors you like you can find a paper napkin that matches. Beth, so could you, you use, do, could you use regular paper or is it the lightweight kind of finish of that paper napkin that gives it the effect? Oh, that's such a good question. It's the lightweight part of the napkin. Yeah. And here's the most important part. All napkin, all decorative napkins are two ply. You actually need to pry it apart because you want to use the thinner part. You mm. could probably use tissue paper with it. Napkins are a little more forgiving for those of us that are a little, you know, heavy handed with things. Yeah, yeah. Not, and I think they're cuter I, too. Look at those patterns. Anymore. I know. And you can get like, you know, 25 for $2 or some craziness. So nice. the first thing I'm going to do is just take my Mod Podge and put a real light coating on the entire top of the shell. Whether you're okay. doing, I'm using an oyster shell, but I have a finished clam shell at the end. And you didn't um, pre-treat it at all. I mean, just washed it well and then covered up that little demarcation. Right, just washed it. Um, and then, yep, put that little bit of white paint on to get rid of the dark spots. Okay. And here's, this is the most fun part for me. So then you're just gonna, you have your napkin cut to a little bit bigger than your shell. I'm gonna lay it down, set it on top, and you just wanna sort of start gently pressing and see how it automatically starts mm. forming to the shape of the oil, right? It's so yes, easy. Yes, that's and this so is actually satisfying. very soothing. Does it and pick yeah, up? It's satisfying, I'm like. It, sorry, it's hard to see through so the screen. Calming. Is it picking up the texture of the shell as well? Just a little tiny bit. I'll Subtly. have it on zoom in a smidge. The beauty of oyster shells is that they're so forgiving because there's a lot of nooks and crannies. So this is a great, especially if you're new maybe to crafting or home decor, um, it's so easy. So you tuck that all in. And then for those of us that are crafters, the edge acts like a natural trimmer because it's got a little bit of a sharp <laughs> edge to it, right? So you, you don't even need scissors. You just start pulling. Perfect. So you pull, pull, pull. I know, it's so easy. This Beth, is you're the best really thing to happen to our day. Kids. I love your energy and I am just smitten with this project. <laughs> it's so lovely. I'm so, I can't tell you how much I love Utah and I have so many friends there from working in the craft industry for so long that I feel like I'm home, if that makes sense. The like, best. I'm so excited. Welcome home, so I love it. Once you, I, I know, I just love it so much. So here's what it looks like when it's done because we don't want to spend, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to go right here. This is what it looks like when it's done. Okay. Then what you do is you take a second um, layer of Mod Podge. Here's where you want to go a little bit heavy handed. I'm going to ask Don, to, my husband Don to zoom in a little bit. Here's where you want to get heavy handed because you really want this to stick. And 
because we're going to use this as home decor, you also want to be able to maybe wipe it clean if it gets a little bit of something, something on it. So this is the um, sealing coat. Podge this is, is kind of sealing it off on top. It, yeah. See, mm. you know, you know things. You know what's happening. Well, you and I are going to put and start a, a trend where we're going to just make these for everyone all day. <laughs> I love. It's it. going to be so fantastic. Partners for sure. So, right, partners forever. So you let this dry. I'm gonna set this down. You can use a hair dryer if you wanna sort of speed things along. Um, and then once it's dry, we'll slide on over here. Now, here comes the gold paint. So, so easy. And I'm actually gonna sit because you wanna have a steady hand. The great thing about oyster shells, again, is they're so <laughs> forgiving. So if you are a beginner, this is just so easy for you because you know, you can't really make a mistake. You can sort of put paint where you want it. If it doesn't get everywhere, that's okay. You can Look go back that. and fill it in. Oh. But I love these crevices. Yes. And then, last but not least, I've got some finished projects over here. So okay. you just paint, paint, paint around the edges. Yes, yes. This is what it looks like at the end. <gasps> look how lovely. See, it's got that beautiful coating. But look, I made you a place setting. So when you come to my house, I'm oh going to set it right goodness. over here. Listen. Look at how cute that would be for like Listen. a shower, right? That's amazing. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? That's amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. All right, I don't and do this often. You can do it. I don't do this often. I'm going to name drop. My good Tell girlfriend, Kay Malone, wife of Carl, gifted me a, a tray that looks just like that, a jewelry tray. And I think it's about to get a companion at home because I've got to try to make this project. It's amazing. Oh, you can totally do it. And the, the only trick, if you want to do the name tag or the name uh, play setting, is before you do that second coat of Mod Podge, get your Cricut out. Okay. Or if you do some hand lettering, to hand do the letter, letters. boom, you're done. So easy. All right, so Beth, my new so friend, we adore you. Washable, can we clean it up really easily? You can like lightly wipe it because of that layer of Mod Podge. So you okay. can get a little something, something off it if you get a little spill, but it's so easy. Well, so we beautiful. We started out this conversation with a few supers and we're going to end. First of all, your cameraman was super. <laughs> so tell Don, thank you. And this is a super is fantastic. doable and approachable project that I'm very impressed by. So thanks for sharing. How can we find your oh, full God. instructions for decoupaged oyster shells? I am on the Kingston home everywhere. Instagram, Pinterest. I've got a, a video on my Instagram account. My yeah. website, the home, key, the Kingston home everywhere. You can't escape me now. Now we that we're BFFs, don't want you can't to. escape me ever. We don't <laughs> want to. We will find you there, and I hope you'll check back in with us sometime soon, Beth. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. My hope is to be there in person. All right. We're willing it to be. Love to Maryland in the meantime. Thank you so much. Bye. All right.